Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the background of a picture so you can put yourself uh, in another place. I don't know why you want to do that, but many people seem to want that effect. So, just a quick tutorial. And, uh, okay, this is the final picture I did. And I'm going to show you how to put yourself or another person in another environment. So, I put on Google picture of a person, got this picture, let's copy, and let's start a new project. Sorry, it's in Spanish. Okay, so I'm gonna paste the image, delete the default layer, so we need to change this background, which I don't know what it is, but I don't really care. And to do that, we're going to use this tool, I don't know how it's called, quick selection tool, maybe. And it's fantastic, because you just simply need to select the area you want to delete, and that's it. I'm going to change the tool and use the magic wand <laughs> and just like holding shift, left shift, shift, select this area. It seems okay, but it's not. If we see here, we selected a part that we don't want. So, back again with the magic brush, or whatever it's called, and pressing the Alt, Alt key on the keyboard, we can modify the selection. And I think that's okay, pretty much. So, we just selected the button we want to remove. To do that, we just create a mask, and then on the keyboard, I type Control and I at the same time. So we got selected the man. That's good. Now we want the background. I just put picture of countryside and select this one because I thought it was nice. So I copy the image. I go. On my project and I just paste. Okay, so we see that the image is quite big, so by typing Ctrl and T at the same time, I can modify the picture more or less. So I'm gonna hold left shift all the time and resize the picture. By holding shift, I'm not gonna change the resolution of property. The picture that matter. I'm not gonna lose quality, so that's what I want. So, yeah, it's really a big difference of sizes. So, that's great. Okay. I tap enter, so I confirm that I want this modification. So, we can see that. Name this layer man and name this layer background. and the background must be behind the man, of course. I still think it's too big, so I'm going to resize it. Uh, We got the guy and the background, so most people will be happy with this result, but it's not perfect, the result is not perfect. So, uh, we should change maybe the 
illumination in the picture. So first of all, we can tweak uh, the man. I just converted this layer into a smart object. Okay. Then I go to image adjustments, I guess, shadows and illumination. And uh, we tap more options. And here's how it was before, and here how we can modify it. So we can add more illumination. So get that effect when the sun is going directly to you. you I think that's fine. That was before, that was now. It seems quite plain. So, I don't care about that now. Let's change the background because usually the background is not fo focused like the person in front, right? So, let's convert this into a smart object too and add a filter. So, a Gaussian filter, Gaussian filter, maybe 3 pixels of radius, maybe 4. I think 3 is fine. So, I add that, I add 3. I think that's fine. So now I'm going to modify the illumination of the background by by two adjustments. Having selected the layer, I get to curves and pretty much move this until I get the desired effect. I think we need quite a lot of illumination because it's my experience, normal pictures. When there's a lot of sun, you get just Light. So that seems quite quite a normal result you will get from a real picture. So we can see that the man now is the center of the image because it's focused, but it doesn't seem realistic when he, he's there. So we should change again the shadows and illuminations by double clicking. The filter, so we double click, and we might change the illumination. Now it seems more, more plain, like the background. Now we want to that. that seems better. I think that seems looks good. And maybe the maybe next color correction. Oh, it's turning his hair red. I don't want that. I think that's fine. So, we see the picture is quite plain. We could add general curves for the first picture. So, we modify everything at the same time. So, I think that's an That's an effect. On a normal picture. Still, it seems like the man is uh, somehow pasted. So, I'm gonna do a trick here. Create a new layer on top of the man. And by holding the key control and clicking on the layer of the man, I'll select the whole area. I'll go with the brush tool, select a grey color, and paint all over the area. After this, I will put my sound effect. Multiply seems fine. Yeah, I think it's multiplying. So the picture is quite dark now. So now with the eraser tool. I will erase the parts that I want to be more illuminated, like maybe his shoulder, his ear, his head. So 
But yeah, I don't know what's happening before. So we were making, putting illumination. So now it seems like someone is taking the picture right in front of the man and making a shadow on top of him. Hope you liked it and check the links down below for more tutorials and anything that I might be interested in, you might be interested in. So that's what I have on the links below. And don't forget to comment and suggest more tutorials.